Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more Genshin Impact, where today we're going to be diving in to Mona's story quest. Okay, off to ah. see Mona. What? What just happened? Everything went on purpose. Did Did you just throw yourself off a cliff? Almost. Finally. Hi. Hello. I almost fell asleep waiting. Yeah, it's been um. It's been like a year. Oh, hi. Whoa. As usual, my predictions are correct. Wait. You. Yes, you. Come with me. Wait, she predicted we would take a year to do this quest? Dang. Are you some huh. sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? <laughs> Sorry, but we're not really interested. This music, what a... What? You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> Wait. Does my ability to see through your secrets so easily not evoke any memories? Wait, 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 wait. We've already met you. You're kind of acting no, like... Oh, it's been a Oh, ah! We're getting different dialogue, just like we got different dialogue for her event if we didn't do this quest. Oh, so that cutscene was usually for, like, most people where they probably never, they never did the first ever event where Mona was there. Yes. Okay. So we would get some different dialogue here if this was our first time meeting her. Gotcha. Okay, it's so this- It's been a while. Literally, it's been a, it's, it's been a year. It's been quite some time. Yes. Oh, Paimon remembers. You're that astrologist. By the way, nice details. Yeah. For if, you know, you do things out of order. That's right. It's nice. It is I, Astrologist Mona Magistus. Magistus? Magistus? This time, I would like you to come with me to Mondstadt to reclaim a box that belongs to my master. You work for someone? It was Wait. part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. Huh? The what? My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. So basically you want to look good. Yeah. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. Mm, of course. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Ah, uh, so the two apprentices face off like against each me, other, huh? that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless, but I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. How did you end up thinking of me? <laughs> the knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. Mm. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? Wait, when did we become your disciple? Starting now, I guess. And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... <laughs> Since when was I your student? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. Ah, mm. we're going to lie. Yes. That this is that. That's, Wait, I just that's realized bad. that's your new design, isn't it? Yes, this is the new Mona design. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking to myself. Wow, I really love the colors to that outfit. Yeah. Um. As much as I do like the the old Mona design, I do have to say I adore the colors of this new one. It, it pops a lot. Um, I personally like both. Yeah, I think both are fine. Both are fine. Both I are just good. really like the colors of this one. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Wait, was she wearing this skin in the cutscene? I wasn't paying attention. Or I mean, obviously I was paying attention, but I wasn't like... I think so, actually, yes. How hard would that have been to go back and change the I mean, skin in a cutscene? Probably not too hard. Would it just be like a palette swap or something? I mean, it is a palette swap. Ah, no, actually, no, there is some changes to the model, but more clothing. Actually, I don't know. I wonder how that would work. I have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. Excuse me, what? Oh? That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. Hmm. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a deal. wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Eh, uh, of course. 
Well, well, um... Beyond this world's stars. There is That's... a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. Oh, you're talking about that place. Tiana has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Dang! That's that's nice of you. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these people. Ouch. Or at least I think this is the place I'm thinking about. I don't know if I know this place. This place never gets any customers because it's a little off the road. That is if I'm thinking of the right place. You mean up a mountain? They're, they're kind of up a mountain. I think this is the place. It's been so long. Yeah, this is the place. Aw, that's sad. I mean, the food's just free. Look at that. Complimentary sunsetas. Or sunsetia. Or however you say that thing. Where's it on the other side? Ah, I think this is the place. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Aw. Muna, well, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother, but while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. <gasps> How did that happen? <laughs> that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. <laughs> it's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Hmm. That sounds bad. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. I was going to say, if it's just a matter of pride, then ouch, but, you know, if it actually affects it, then, you know. It no. must... It's probably like in the contract. It's like in the fine print. Like you can't use it for mundane things. If you do, you're going to lose your ability. If you use it to find where your car keys are for the seventh time this week, so help me, I will banish you from the ether. Personally, that would be great if you could. That'd I great. Actually, I'm at... Speaking of which, where are my glasses? Don't do it. I'm going to use my powers! Sorry, one sec. I need to go grab them. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Gotcha. And you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. She is broke. <sighs> well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation, if you were willing. Uh-huh. Mm. You know, for some reason, I, I feel in the stars that she may be a little motivated. Uh, 20,000? What's with that look on your face? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I... I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to oh. earn 20,000 mora just like that. Wait, has has her hair always had that tint of red? I don't know. Or like purple? What is that? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's like a darker shade of purple near the top, but then as yep. it goes down her pigtails, it's like, that's a really cool design. Mm-hmm. Never noticed that. I'm not sure if her hair's always been like that. That may be because of the new outfit, or maybe that was in her old one. I don't know. If it was in her old one, then, yeah. I, yeah, I, Sorry, I don't stare at people's hair. <laughs> I usually don't stare at people's hair very it's often, almost, yeah. It's only in shots like this do I really notice these kinds of things. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you were just talking about What happened to principles of prin principles are principles? <clears throat> yes, that. of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be mm -hmm. other means we can employ besides astrology. <laughs> oh, Paimon knows where this is going. Do we? Yep, it's up to us to find it. I know, I'll leave this one to you. Ah! This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. I guess it becomes my business again. Yep. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use elemental bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. What? What, like with the Luke? You remember the stuff we helped Master D. Luke make? Call back. I'm a genius. <laughs> you are a genius. And wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. 
Oh, that has got to be bad. It's been like a year and a half by mine. That, that's got to be going so bad. we're attacked by so many slimes. Is, is that why? Yeah, maybe that's why we're attacked so often. Best partner, right? Yes. Yes. Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. Back in jiffy. Back in a jiffy. Perfect. It's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Um. Even if they're just slimes, oh, wait. they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare our <laughs> Where do you say Paimon? This is your first mission, so don't mess it up. <laughs> but if the going gets too tough for you, well, I shall lend a hand then. Thanks. Thank you all so very much. Uh, that ring is really important to me. Nice. You're we're gonna, welcome. We're gonna get it back for you, hopefully. Can't promise anything, but we're gonna try. If it's been melted by a slime, um, sorry. Defeat the slimes and search for the ring. Oh no! Stabilize. It's slimes! Specifically the ones that are weak to a certain pyro girl. Whatever will we do? How terrible. Oh no! Don't freak. Yeah, anyway. Oh, not done, are we? Oh! You think you can take us on? Ridiculous. Silly slimes! Okay. Your tricks are not meant for kids. Yo, what the freak? I was thinking about saying the same freaking thing. How did we do that? I'm not even joking. Is that a weird brotherly mind meld moment right there? Or was that something far beyond that? Far beyond? I don't know. It's just... It must be... The magic... Of friendship! Yeah. Right? It has yeah. to be. It has to be magic friendship. I, that's, that's all it could be. What else could it be? Not the fact that, like, I've known you for like 20 odd years. Founder, Something like that. This must be the ring. A small portion of a life. Small portion of life. It's so pretty. I'm unsure it's worth a ton of. Uh, Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts. Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. I mean, we can just say we haven't found them. What, what did you say? Huh? No, that'd be... I'm not... That would anything. be stealing, Daniel. I'm not stealing. Simply holding on to and sim until simply the reward appears. There is a reward! Oh, you're right. Besides, I'm not that mean. Of course. That's it. That's the one. Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You're lucky. You actually found it. Not bad. That means the reward is ours! Have Mona's eyes always been that color? Have Mona's eyes been that color? They're like I, pearls. Uh, I have no idea. I, I never, I haven't pulled Mona yet. It's been so long since I played this game, I have forgotten so Mr. much. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. I want to say yes. I think her eyes have been that color. I think. Mm. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What? I'm all the dot dot dots. That third one is- Who is your family to be able to afford this many expensive rings? But not even that! Yo, you got ten fingers, and even if you put rings on your toes, you still only have twenty. I mean, if you extend your fingers, you may be able to fit a few more on. <laughs> like, five to ten rings per finger, there you go. That, yeah, I get, technically you could have 200, but that's still 53 over 200. And then you like put a few and fashion them into like earrings. I mean, you can wear one as, or two or just three like as a, a necklace. You have like 20 earrings. There you go. No, no. And then you just put the rest on like a necklace. And a necklace. All around your neck. Just all around. Freaking. Okay. Yeah. 253. Okay. Yep. No, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. Did you ever get married? I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Hmm. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Please. So you're just rich, but doing this as a hobby. Then... 
Then I'll take it gladly. <coughs> Mona! Even Paimon wasn't that fast. But we did all the work. A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? Girl, we're not even really your disciple! You can have it! 20,000 isn't that much, but still! What about the principal? The principals! Eh, she's broke. She can keep it. Whatever. We're a good friend. Didn't we say we were just playing pretend? Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Thanks. Are you hungry? Uh... <laughs> what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Ah, uh, shh. <laughs> that didn't happen. Forget it. <laughs> well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. Dude, yo, your face right yeah. now. It's an awoo face. Or an awoo I don't it's know. It's smug. It, it's smug. That's amazing. Beware the mighty dragon smug. The, the mighty dragon smug. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wangshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it Don't out. Don't say that in front of this guy, come on. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Also, they know me. I could probably... Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? You know, you're right. That was super rude for her to say that right in front of the other guy. Running a restaurant! And an inn. He's like, oh, you know, yeah, I know you haven't eaten in days. I know money's a bit of an issue. You want us to cook you a meal? No, let's go to that better inn. That's the, that, you know, well-known restaurant. That well-known place. Let's spend that money there. That place has so much good food, better than any other inn around here. Specifically here. Personally, if I was hungry, I'd be like, we're right here. We're, we're here, guys. Guys. <sighs> She's a good person. There, said it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, it's either that or let's go after her. It, it, they both sure. sound good. Such a good person. <laughs> let's have ourselves a great meal. Yes. We're gonna stuff ourselves. Uh, she's treating us to the money we are. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. I'm used to it at this point. I feel like this is a reoccurring. Why am I? What, why are you in the chat? What was the. What the no, I'm thinking of a different game! Did you just try, like, a lot of different things? <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay. Got it. You won't hear anything from me. So I just heard a breath. Wow. <gasps> Sup? Broke my ankles to get here. And out. <gasps> Breathe in. Daniel, can we stop doing this bit? This actually takes a lot of effort. Hold. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. Out. So it is for many minutes to come to set. Damn, let's not ever do that again. I'm about to pass out. Give me a sec. One sec. Ah, that was a funny bit, but one sec. tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? I hear it. No, I hear it. I'm good. I can hear it. Just everything's being really weird right now. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, three. Four. Three. Four. Five. Three. Five? Why do you always do like this? What? <laughs> the freak! Okay. <sighs> Hello there. Hi, we almost died getting here. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? 
<laughs> uh, technically, yes. Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. I'll take everything twice. Uh, you sure you can With eat With the extra sauce. Okay, then. Excuse me, what would you like to order? I said it. Everything. Ah. Uh, dude, what the freak? Golden shrimp balls or crab roe tofu? That sounds great. What, are we supposed to pick her favorite or something? I have no idea. What does she like? I think she likes soup. No. It's been on song. I've forgotten everyone's favorite food in this game. Ah, uh, just go with what your heart desires. Soup. Soup. Salt really? You, you want to go with soup? The good kind. The good kind of soup. I don't like canned soup. <laughs> this is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. I, I think my stomach actually just growled. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Uh-huh. Oh, we get to choose another? Uh, <laughs> golden shrimp balls. Yeah, sure. These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. I think these are Kaching's favorite. Yeah, yo, but wait a minute. Hold up. The the breading is a crispy fried potato? Mm-hmm. No, we've went over this. We have? Yeah. Yo, I want to try this! Mm-hmm. I love shrimp and potatoes. This sounds like... This is a match made in heaven. I don't know about this tofu, though. Mm. What would Mona be? A vegetarian or a crab girl? You know, cr not... I'm crab... She likes... Do you think she likes crab? Uh, that's what I meant to say. Mm-hmm. They're both technically vegan. Then again, I think uh, the crab. Crab part. is not vegan. No, I don't think it's considered vegan. <laughs> I mean, we put some meat in there, so maybe some vegetarian. You know, you want a salad. You want some greens on the side. You know, how about a vegetarian? I'll it's exactly what it says on Abalo the label. Abalone. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. Awesome. So is this the fake thing? Oh, I guess we're getting everything. Though oh. tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. Hmm. It's one of our specialties. Wait, what is crab roe? I don't know. Roe? I've only ever had tofu by itself and with a few other things. I've never really tried it in a big dish. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to try this potentially someday. I'll order them all. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? <laughs> Am I the half person in this equation? I think Paimon could eat more than her body weight. Probably. That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mona, uh. Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Juyu soup, please. Mm. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? Water. I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. Um... You know, we could pay for our half. We could. I, I don't want to be a jerk to you, Mona. Like, we're good. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. Oh. All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. Yo, I'd feel so bad in real life if this happened. I would I'd be like, I'll just take the one. Board yourself and feast on it. has been thinking about something since we started eating. Why'd you only order one dish? Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? In other words, you're broke. You're dead broke. An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. She's crying on the inside. Yeah. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... But you... I and sustaining. It's kind of the thing you need to get food dangerous. with. And dangerous, yes. So, not eating the dishes we 
ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. But pa Paimon, don't, don't, don't listen to her, please. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Let me whip something up for you. Oh, yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. I like how for the story quest, we're supposed to be... So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. Just casually. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry. But it's not a big deal. Wait. How small was that bowl of noodles? Ah, uh, pardon me. Sorry, we're just gonna take those. I know that was your food, but like, you know, sharing is caring and all that. Oh, I'm gonna take more food, but there is no other. There is, ah! Okay, yeah, it's, it's L1. <laughs> what, uh, what game do you have on the Elden brain? Elden Ring. Elden Ring? Okay, oh wait, it's touch, it's touchpad? I should have thought about that. I don't know why that surprises me. What do you mean it's touchpad? What? <laughs> I've been doing, using it too. For some reason, I never questioned it. Hey. Hello. How may I help you? You know who I am. We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Or I guess we don't. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. My friend would like to eat something made by me. Yes. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Of course. If I make it, it's delicious. What if we say not really? Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. Sure. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. Yep. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? Huh? I have a lot, actually. I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. Oh. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried mm. together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Daniel, I think I'm crying. Golden Sounds amazing. Crab. <laughs> Learning a whole new dish, Ramona Sink, is a bit, uh... Golden crab! Golden crab! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. Golden crab. <laughs> then let's get to it! Oh, that laugh was With adorable. With your skills in the kitchen, this'll be a cinch. I... Alrighty I... then. <sighs> Golden crab, that sounds so good. Wait. I love crab. What? 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 Oh, I have to make it. I'm like, what? I was very confused. Okay, you have to make it normal or delicious, but not burned. Burned does not count. <laughs> uh, okay. You have enough crab, right? Uh, probably. I don't. Oh, oh I do have enough crab. I need flour and sugar. Sugar! Sugar. Can I purchase that from you? Hopefully. Uh, uh, sorry, bye-bye. So long. Goodbye. We have to go to either Inazuma or, mm, look, um, die dailies. or Mondstadt. Well, that looks different. Oh, that's the, uh, the puzzle thing. Oh. Yeah, they're in Mondstadt. They're just chilling in Mondstadt. Dude, I, mm, mm, I, mm, this golden crab, I, mm, that's, yeah, it's gotta be a thing, right? Like, in real life, we can buy that, right? We can cook it, right? It needed salt. Two salt. Maybe buy a few just in case. Just in case. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and it needed crab. Oh, no, no not flour, crab. flour. Flour. Which is at the other place I'm guessing. <sighs> Over here. I couldn't make it myself, except that takes real time. So and we don't got that kind of time! Thank you. Flour! Oh, wow, ten. Okay, uh, just don't mess up, Daniel. Just don't. <sighs> this is why I haven't gotten up. mastering every dish. Takes so long. Wait, what did we just learn? Rainbow something? Eh, rainbow something. I have Rainbow Star playing in my head now. Dang it. Uh, yeah, Gold Crab. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's do it, I believe. Perfect. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a double. It's like only a 15% chance. Dang. 12. 12! Dang. Indeed. Very nice. Yes. Dang, dang, dang. Thank you, God. We got extra grub! 
That means we can oh, give. Oh yeah. That means we can give her one. Then we can keep one for ourselves. Yes. Yes. Hello oh. there. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. Um, I'm not in dire need of food. Uh, this this um. I am a little hungry. It's post. But it's not a big deal. Yeah. What is this post? Oops. It appears I had 18 on me. I, <laughs> I'm not you, sure how this happened, but, um, oops. Yeah, you can have one of the good ones. Yeah, here you go. We're, we're, we're nice. This aroma is... Oh, Something to go with you. Hey, your special order, ma'am. I like both of those. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. Oh. Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good mm -hmm. in my life. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my <clears throat> disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. <sighs> nice. Happy that you're. Enjoying it. You say that, but you're clearly relishing the meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. Yep. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Alrighty then. Okay. Hello, tiny squirrel. Um. Good goodbye, tiny squirrel. Okay. Well, it. Uh, well, there he goes. <sighs> did, did, did he just? Did he just? Just like fall out of the sky. That almost. was tiring, yep. but we're finally in Mondstadt. Sure are. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Hi, Mon's not tired. You float. Ugh, that's because you float. Indeed. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. Hey, yo, wait, what? That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Uh huh. I mean, the stars are nice. I like looking at the stars. Are you also resting your feet here? Hello, Tyler. Who are you? His name is Tyler. Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. For some reason, I get a bad vibe. But also, is that child's voice actor? Yes. Okay. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? I don't trust these guys. Do I need to pay? No need. No need. We're already heading that way anyway. Uh -huh. There's no need. Now, shoo. Get out of our way. <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Hmm. <laughs> Cease your pretensions, bandit. I was about Taking to say, yeah. People on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? Oof. What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? Uh-oh! <laughs> if you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. I, I can't see Mona if past I the arm. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Did you just confess? Okay, you're dead. Okay. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. Oh, is this our demo time? You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, 
This is a good time to show you what your master can do. Actually, ah, we never- it's, uh, it's time to blow off steam, I see. Yes, but also, we never said that, and two, I would have loved to have pulled you. You've just never shown up. Like, I've lost so many 50-50s, and none of them have been you. Girl, just show up already! I don't know how it actually has their faces. They're not just some random bandits. Yeah, they actually applied the actual skins to them. I think that's what I was going to say. Yeah. At least they plopped their heads on the bodies of bandits. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Look at them and their fancy mustaches and beards. How dare they be so fancy? How dare they be fancy? How dare you be fancy? Whoa! 40,000 damage. I forgot how OP Mona was. I don't have her, so I don't, you know, I don't get reminded all that much. Well, that sounds kind of like a personal problem. Yeah, maybe just a little. If you, I know it's a personal problem. It's one I've had. I just, I just sounds like. I don't know. Anyway. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? Your combat abilities were amazing. <clears throat> Why did that sound so robotic? It's impressive that you saw through those bandits. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Hmm. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. It's day. How does that even work? How did you know? Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. Wait, I thought... I okay. thought you weren't supposed to do that. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. Mm. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. I'm a little excited. Or I'm not getting my hopes <laughs> up. But one of these case, is far more you've depressing. Got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. She's mentally refreshed. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <sighs> I thought you weren't tired. <laughs> well, time to walk all the way there. Wait, so how does Mona's powers work? What? If if she's not supposed to use them like willy nilly, <laughs> then how is she able to just see everything at every moment? I. I'm a, am I, I, I'm reading too much into it. Oh, okay. Getting to don't think about it. Okay. I just want to oh, think about it. Oh, pigeons the kill. Daniel, no! Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. Oh, wait. Is it going to be, um, like Albedo and Sucrose, maybe? Oh, maybe. Maybe. No, wait, Albedo wasn't in the game when this quest <sighs> was made. Oh, never mind. I can't tell fortunes. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. You didn't think that far There's ahead? A rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. That sounds like you breaking a My rule. astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Wait. Mm. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. Huh? From the present station and movement of the stars, I see. So that successor is a young, female, knight of Favonius. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? Hmm. Oh! We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. Th th that's all? That's all? It seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Oh, I mean, it seemed rather simple. Never mind. I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary <laughs> Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. Wait! Oh, she is a mage. She is! That's her. The successor to great knowledge. <laughs> he you mean Klee? Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. 
What, what, is, what does she tell the future by the amount of fish pieces that come up out of the lake? <laughs> I'm just uh, curious. You're just curious here. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? <laughs> fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. See, I, I said this one. <laughs> we're, we're getting nowhere fast. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? Oh! That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far Wait. away. Yo, Mona. Mona, 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 Mona. Hold up. Mona, a, Mona, 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 Mona. <laughs> a daughter is different to a successor. Mm, okay, yes, children Sometimes. are successors, admittedly, to family businesses and such and everything like that. But... Ah. Uh. Doesn't mean they have to be. They are just a child. Uh, my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Uh, things go... <laughs> mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. Oh my. Are those bombs? Yes. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Huh. Huh. Yes. As well-versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. I cannot wait till we get Alice as a playable character. Mm -hmm. Well, Clee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Oh, okay. Mm, not this one. That's a book. Mm, I think she's checking a map or, or something. This one. That's the same book. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not this one either. Well, that, that's a... Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. It's a pomegranate, isn't it? Wait for me. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Mona. The box is gone. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. Um, Windrise. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, but Windrise is going to survive the night, right? That box is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mona. It's gone. It's probably gone. It's gone. Windrise is no more. Windrise is going to explode arise. <laughs> wait. Windrise more wait. like... Uh, Ashes. The ashes yeah. exploderized. Exploderized. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that clee, that's a this is it. Let's dig it up. That's that's slime. This has to be the work of a dendro slime. Dendro slimes must have done this. Oh yes. It can't be. I put a sign here. There's no mistake. Ah! Uh, dendro slimes! Oh no! Yep, dendro slimes. We can talk later. Let's take them out first. It sounds like an assassination. Take him out. Take him out! Take the shot. I, you guys are. Okay. Well, you may just want to alt on them, honestly. Time to go. Oh, you you backed off! Oh dear. Oh oh no! He bonked you. Anyway. Found it. It's this box. Um. Where? I can't. Oh, there it is. Well, there it is. But I can't see Clee. Damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, hi, hi there. <laughs> Do you come to the cloud district often? You're getting some Zhongli uh, point of view. Here we go. Some uh, first person Genshin action. Let's go. Whoa, VR Genshin. That would be amazing. That'd be really hard to implement. That. 
That would be. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. You could have. It didn't take a year. I had <laughs> intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. Wait, what's it the book? It dropped from Clee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge. But wait, yo, that's what we call snooping, by the way. Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Hey? Uh. Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Wait. Wait. Uh, yeah. Huh? It's the book from the box? Borrowed. But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Pro pro oh, the, pro you want the thing that used to be in the box? Pro you should have said so. It's probably the book. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. W what is it? Is it burned? <sighs> Did you use it as a part of a bomb? It's the book in your hand. Aha! You were right. Okay. What? This. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Your master's diary or was it Alice's ma uh, diary? No. I don't think it matters at this point. I just, the thing she okay. wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth. Oh! Uh, got it. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am, am I in trouble? No, you're fine. But Mona is. <laughs> uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. <laughs> Clean, never change. Please, never change. But please don't blame me for something. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. No, Clee, don't run away. No. Dang it. Is that part of getting mad? Um. Well, if you don't say anything. Your master won't find out, will she? Yeah! She can see the stars. Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. I mean... <sighs> After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. I mean... How did it come to this? I mean, we just walked. You, you can That's walk. That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, <sighs> too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too embarrassing? Yes. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? <laughs> what? what? Jeez. Okay. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I, I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Um, Loki, what? You did you just say that? I mean, she's, she's not, not wrong, wrong, but still, so, like, what? Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait, I don't even have a place to stay. There's an old abandoned place here with your symbol on it. There's a door. That. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, oh, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, uh, that was always the plan. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. What? Wait, is that why Mona is in Mondstadt? Did not see this coming. She low-key oh, is... A piece of chicken. I think you just ticked Timmy off. He'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, Mona is in Mondstadt. She's, she's living the life of a fugitive because she read the diary of her master. She read the edgy years of her master's life. Uh. Astra Abyssosk. 
Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Sup, Catherine? About Mona's background and her, uh, her, her quandary. quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Hmm. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. Wait, it's not Mona's house. Okay. I think she can do it. Huh. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. We, we, uh, I, I know. Never mind. Okay, thanks. Okay, yeah, it's just, it's just back here. Isn't it right? It's the house covered in her mushrooms that she needs. Yeah, the the, the, the mushrooms. Speaking of, probably need to actually grab a few of those. <gasps> why does she require those mushrooms? Excellent what question. Was... Why? Oh, it's oh. these things. Yeah. I knew that was there. What are those for? <sighs> those are just like music things. You can find them like all over the place. I've found a few so far while running around doing dailies, but. Are they a new thing? They were added in maybe a patch or two ago? I think? The maybe? The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Cha-ching! Very nice. Right, it's open. Nice, nice. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine, and you'll be able to stay here. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. Huh? My goth? Wait, boss of the Goth Grand Hotel. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurers Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. What? Does that hmm. mean I can stay here? Of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. Yo, a free house! My thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. R rent? Y yes. I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Just... Simon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... I mean, what the freak? Save a little here, scrimp a little there, and you'll be fine. What do you mean? Mm, this might be her best option. Yeah. I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great. Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well... I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Mm. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. Gotcha. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Mm. As you said, this journey was all gain and no loss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. Hmm. I wish you both safe travels. As for me, I need to think of the future as well. Hmm. That was nice. Well, that was How quite wholesome. How is she going to make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? She can go kill slimes. It's super easy and... Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. We can drop off food every now and then. Beyond this world's stars. Complete! Oh, Mona's laboratory. Out. I'm doing experiments here. Oh. oh, it's you. I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. Okay.
Oh. Uh, um. Emma, are those experiments doing good in there? Yo, yo, we're we're not trying to pee, but we just want to see what you're doing in there. Just curious. Just curious. What kind of experiments were you doing? <laughs> you know, like All you right. know, not any like mad science. Not not any of that stuff, right? I'm sure not. Ah, oh, of course. Okay. Uh, now how do we kick off the event? We'll probably. Here. We just talk to Catherine, or you know, somewhere. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Do we want to save this for the next episode then? Sure. And so, I guess with that, ladies and gentlemen, we love you all. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in that next one. Oh, yeah. Are you going for free money? Yes. Like Mona, I'm in fact broke.